Good morning, YouTube family. This is J-Man in the city coming at you with another video. So recently, I just got my CDL Class A license through CRST. Um, I'm not going to knock CRST, but I'm also not going to praise it either. CRST is uh, one of the many starter companies out there. Um, with CRST, they were able to get me my license through all the testing and practice and all this stuff. But one thing I realized is they don't, they hire you on immediately after you get your license. The thing is though, they don't treat you like an employee. They treat you like something else that I don't want to say on here. But, uh, <clears throat> so I, let's, let's start from after I got my license through the ASD, which is in Fontana, California. I went to the, I went to the California location cause I'm in California. Um, so they have a terminal that you live at. It's in Riverside. And then in the morning, Monday through Friday, they take you to a place called ASD advanced school of driving in Fontana. Now, let me tell you, the first week is okay because they keep you in a room. There's air conditioning during the summertime. It gets over 105, 110 degrees there during the peak time of the day. After your first week orientation and you're doing your practice test for your permit, um, the second and third, fourth week, they have you either outside. Sometimes you're allowed to go inside, but when you're uh, when you're after you get your permit, they let you go on the. They take you on the road test. You do uh, backing up skills. They literally have you outside in the 105, 10 degree weather. You know, yeah, there's a shaded area, but trust me, that shaded area does not really help when it's over 100 degrees. You know, so you're sitting there, damn near getting fucking heat stroke. On top of that, and then after, they expect you to pay them, like, a $5,000 contract. If you complete the if you complete the schooling, which basically means getting your permit and then getting your actual license. So, in layman's terms, they're expecting you to pay them. Either pay them or work for them. For So, you work for them either for six months and that's hard hard going hard working for him hard hard every day all the all the whole six months or <clears throat> you're paying back the money they they're expecting that contract to be done with um and i'm finding out you know they want you to do all this stuff what they don't explain to you is over the road driving is a lot different than local and even a lot different than regional. Regional and lower the road is similar, but at least you're you know you're closer to home. With regional, you're closer to your home state. And uh, you know thing and local, obviously you get to go home every night, which is I don't know for not everybody, but for some people like myself, it is a blessing because over the road you're on the road so many days of the week and they don't allow, allow you to go home until a thing and they consider home time it feels like it wouldn't be enough time so long story short it's just like CRST is not a company for me I'm not saying it's a bad company but uh, CRST is not a company for me and I'll complete um, I'll have to make payments 